Hi, welcome back. Michelle Obama spoke at a rally in Michigan on Saturday, October 26th, to support presidential candidate Kamala Harris. The former first lady was nearly in tears as she opened up about the debilitating effects of menopause. Obama, 60, described suffering with excruciating cramps and days of nausea. Every month, far too many of us experience excruciating cramps and days of nausea. As we struggle through menopause, crippling hot flashes and depression, too many women my age are unaware of what's happening to our bodies, she said. Mrs. Obama also addressed the men in the crowd and urged them to vote for Harris, who is pro-abortion. She said men should support women's health, and she warned that women's lives would be in danger if Donald Trump returns to the White House. See, fellas, most of us women, we suck up our pain and we deal with it alone. We don't share our experiences with anyone, not partners, friends, or even doctors. A woman's body is a complicated business. It brings life, and that is beautiful, but even when we are not bearing children, there is so much that can go wrong at any moment, she continued. Obama commented on the mysterious rise in turbo cancers affecting millions of Americans in recent years. Every woman here knows what I am talking about. An unexpected lump, an abnormal pap smear, a mammogram, an infection or blockage, which all can be early signs of life-threatening cancers, she said. In those terrifying moments, which will happen to the vast majority of women in the country, it feels like the floor falls out from under us. Mrs. Obama's experience is different from women who don't experience excruciating cramps or days of nausea during menopause. In fact, many women on hormone replacement therapy, HRT, are symptom-free. Menopause is known as the change because it marks the end of a woman's reproductive years. Menopause typically occurs between 45 to 55 as levels of female hormones, estrogen and progesterone, decrease. Perimenopause sometimes begins in a woman's 30s. Menopause lasts four, eight years or longer. Signs and symptoms of menopause include hot flashes, brain fog, night sweats, mood swings, thinning hair, weight gain, low libido, depression, and vaginal dryness. Talk to your doctor about hormones, estrogen, and progesterone that can relieve the signs and symptoms of menopause. Other treatment options are available for women who diagnosed with cancer or women with a family history of cancer. Michelle Obama has long been a prominent figure in American culture, not only as the former first lady, but as an advocate for health, wellness, and balanced living. Throughout her public life, she has been open about her health and wellness journey, candidly discussing issues like fertility challenges, mental health, and the pressures that come with leading a life in the spotlight. Michelle Obama's approach to health issues is an inspiring example of resilience, self-care, and advocacy, as she often ties her personal experiences to broader campaigns that aim to empower others. Michelle Obama was born Michelle LaVon Robinson on January 17, 1964, in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up on the south side of Chicago, she witnessed firsthand the challenges that often come with living in underserved communities, including limited access to nutritious food and health care resources. From an early age, she developed a commitment to staying healthy as her father, Fraser Robinson III, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a debilitating disease that affected his mobility and overall quality of life. Seeing her father's struggle inspired Michelle to prioritize her health and motivated her later work as a health advocate. Michelle excelled in academics, attended Princeton University, and went on to earn a degree from Harvard Law School, all while focusing on maintaining her well-being. Her career as a lawyer and her work in community outreach in Chicago allowed her to witness the systemic health and lifestyle challenges that many Americans face, which influenced her future advocacy. Michelle has openly discussed the fertility struggle she and former President Barack Obama faced when trying to conceive their daughters, Malia and Sasha. She candidly revealed in her memoir, Becoming, that she experienced a miscarriage and later turned to in vitro fertilization, IVF, to have her children. 
By discussing these issues publicly, Michelle broke down the stigma around fertility issues and became a voice for women facing similar challenges. Her miscarriage was a devastating experience, and she described it as a moment when she felt she had failed because she didn't know how common miscarriages were because we don't talk about them. This honest revelation resonated with many as it highlighted the silent struggles that women often face when it comes to reproductive health. Through IVF, Michelle and Barack were eventually able to have their two daughters. Her openness has been praised for helping normalize conversations around fertility struggles and shedding light on the challenges women face. Michelle Obama has also been vocal about her mental health, especially as it relates to the stresses of being in the public eye. During her time as First Lady, she faced constant scrutiny, criticism, and public pressure, which took a toll on her mental well-being. After leaving the White House, she has continued to open up about the impact of these experiences, especially in times of political turmoil and social unrest. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Michelle Obama shared that she had experienced low-grade depression. The pandemic, racial injustice, and political divisiveness contributed to her feelings of sadness and anxiety. By sharing her struggles, she emphasized the importance of addressing mental health, a topic that often carries stigma, particularly within communities of color. Her candidness helped validate the experiences of millions who were facing similar feelings during the global health crisis and encouraged others to prioritize mental health care. In an interview on the Michelle Obama podcast, she explained, these are not, they are not fulfilling times spiritually. I know that I am dealing with some form of low-grade depression, not just because of the quarantine, but because of the racial strife. And just seeing this administration, watching the hypocrisy of it day in and day out is dispiriting. Her ability to share these feelings showed the depth of the mental health crisis many were experiencing and emphasized the importance of coping mechanisms, such as connecting with loved ones and engaging in self-care. During her time as First Lady, Michelle Obama launched the Let's Move Initiative, a nationwide campaign aimed at reducing childhood obesity and promoting healthy lifestyles among young Americans. She was inspired to start Let's Move. After her own experiences as a mother, noticing how difficult it could be to provide healthy food options and encourage physical activity for her daughters. The campaign focused on improving school meals, increasing physical activity, and promoting better nutrition. Through Let's Move, Michelle worked with schools, food manufacturers, and communities to increase access to healthier food options and provide resources to promote fitness. She partnered with organizations like the U.S. Department of Agriculture to revamp school meal standards, advocating for more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in school cafeterias. She also encouraged schools to build playgrounds, promote physical education, and ensure that children were moving regularly. To set an example, Michelle took on public fitness challenges, such as doing push-ups and other exercises on national television, including shows like The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Her physical fitness and dedication to health inspired millions, especially young people, to make healthier choices. By demonstrating that exercise can be enjoyable and accessible, she became a positive role model for children and adults alike. Beyond her public advocacy, Michelle has also used her platform to address issues specific to women's health. She frequently speaks about the importance of self-care, especially for women who are balancing careers, family responsibilities, and personal well-being. Michelle has acknowledged that women often bear the brunt of family caregiving, which can lead to burnout and neglect of their own health. As part of her commitment to empowering women, she has advocated for accessible health care, preventive screenings, and wellness programs that specifically target women's needs. Through public speaking engagements, her memoir, and interviews, she has encouraged women to prioritize their health and seek the support they need. Michelle has also worked to create spaces where women can connect and share their health experiences, such as her work with the Obama Foundation and other nonprofit organizations. 
In her book, Becoming, and through various interviews, Michelle emphasizes the importance of a balanced lifestyle. She often speaks about her daily routine, which includes regular exercise, a balanced diet, and spending quality time with her family. Michelle has shared that she wakes up early to work out, making it a priority no matter her busy schedule. For her, fitness is not only about physical health, but also about mental clarity and emotional well-being. Michelle is also known to indulge in the food she loves, such as french fries, emphasizing that a healthy lifestyle does not mean deprivation. Her approach to wellness is holistic, encouraging people to find a sustainable balance that works for their individual lives. She promotes the idea that wellness is about feeling good and having the energy to pursue one's passions. Michelle Obama's health journey and her advocacy have left a lasting impact on public health awareness. From her fertility struggles and mental health experiences to her initiatives for childhood fitness and women's health, she has used her influence to break down stigmas and encourage open conversations around wellness. Her journey has encouraged millions to embrace a more holistic view of health that includes mental, physical, and emotional well-being. She has also demonstrated the power of vulnerability and leadership, showing that even those in high-profile positions can face personal challenges. Michelle continues to inspire people to prioritize their health, speak openly about their experiences, and support others in their wellness journeys. Her legacy, especially with the Let's Move campaign, continues to be celebrated as a significant step toward a healthier nation, particularly for young people. By addressing a wide range of health issues, Michelle Obama has shown that wellness is accessible and that health challenges can be overcome through resilience, self-care, and community support. Her efforts serve as a reminder that health is an ongoing journey, one that requires compassion, dedication, and an openness to share and grow.